Yes, ma'am. Can I have the menu? Sylvia! What, what, what are you doing here? You, what are you doing here, Richard? I, I, I actually work here as a waiter. I, I started working for the past two weeks. My God! As a waiter, you lack ambition. Ah, ah. Um, Sylvia, you, you understand. Job, job is so scarce in this, in this city. I was even lucky to get this one. Hmm. A lazy man always counts himself lucky, even when he's a sweeper. Please. Um, um, who, who brought you here? Did you come with Pascal? Who is Pascal? Excuse me, I brought myself. You brought yourself to this place? Yeah, that the cheapest food is 5,000 naira. Sylvia is a woman with vision. Come, why am I even explaining it to you, Seth? Can I have the menu or do you want me to tell the manager how you lost your last job? And why are you looking at me like that? Manager? Sorry, man. Okay, let me have shrimps. Um, um, Chinese fried rice. And shark man. Move. Why are you looking at me? What will you drink? Sharp man, are you deaf? Bless me. It makes no difference, okay? Whatever circumstances you're going through right now, it's just for a while. I don't have a problem with you being a waiter at all. Hey, Rita. Rita, thank you very much. You see, any time you talk to me, I, I, I feel so encouraged. <laughs> Say, may God bless you. God will bless you. You're such a nice person. You're welcome, okay? And I want you to know that whatever you're going through right now is a stepping stone to your greatness. Okay. Rita, God will bless you. God will show um, What? <laughs> so that you're touching me if my manager comes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so, so um, uh, are you going to wait for me? You want me to wait? Uh, no, 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 but, Okay, but, don't worry, don't worry, I'll go. No, no, don't, don't go, I, I want you to stay. But if my manager come and you're not drinking with, uh, let me go and get you Minara. <laughs> uh, I'll get you Fanta. Okay. Uh, please, uh, okay. we'll just wait here, I'm, I'm coming now. <laughs> Sylvia. My husband told me how efficiently you managed my house in my absence. I was just doing my job. <laughs> I know that you are just doing your job. But I'm a lady that likes to appreciate hard work. I'll be giving you a check for 50,000 naira today. It's a way of saying thank you and sharing my appreciation to you. Wow, Madam, God will bless you for me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Appreciate. You're welcome. Um, one more thing, Sylvia. Do you, do you in any way have a reason to suspect that my husband cheated on me in my absence? Um, I don't know. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes, ma. Because I, um... I read somewhere in a magazine that um, when your husband stopped making love to you, then he's getting it from somewhere. Hey. So I'm really bothered. <laughs> Sylvia, you, you're trembling. Are you okay? Yeah. Um, it's just that um, I have a little cold. Oh, you have cold and you dress like this? I mean, you're not properly dressed, Sylvia. God, you're not helping yourself. Yeah. I would just go and get my sweater. I think you should. Don't worry, run along. Thank you, ma'am. Richard, congratulations. Uncle, thank you very eh? much. Uncle, see, it's, it's, it's like I'm, I'm dreaming. Uncle, I never knew that I could make it to the UK. Uncle, I'm so happy. Thank that, you very much, Uncle. That is the will of God for you. Richard, sit down, let me talk to you. Um, Richard. You are my little sister's only child, and I want the best for you. Richard, I want you to get married before you leave the country. 
so that once you are settled down over there, your wife will join you. Um, but uncle, I don't have any woman in my life right now. That is no problem. We start looking for one immediately. I'll be the happiest man if you marry for travel. Okay. I'll try my best. Please. I promise I'll try. Once again, congratulations. Let's go for champagne. <laughs> Let's go to the bar. Sorry, I cannot come to work today. Yes, I'll go to the hospital later. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you. Sorry to inconvenience you by my presence, but I came here to inform you that I won the visa appeal. So, what? Sylvia, I still love you. Are you mocking me? Um, no. How can I mock the love of my life? Sylvia, my uncle is insisting that I get married before I travel. But how can I be married to a woman I don't know nor love? Sylvia, you have been the only woman in my life. The only woman I have ever known. Sylvia, I want you to come back to my life, please. Sylvia, come back to my life and marry me. Deep down in my heart, I know we're meant to be together. Please, Sylvia. Richard, right now, I have a lot on my head. Why not come back in the evening? I have to think. Sylvia, let's just... Hi. Oh, it's always like this. Doctor, please help me. Get rid of this pregnancy. I beg you, please. Silver, you knew how you suffered the last time you tried this. For God's sakes, in my hospital alone, you've done over 20 abortions. I knew you must have visited other hospitals for the same abortion. If you try this, you will die. Doctor, please, this pregnancy is not wanted. I don't want it. I, I just want you to do whatever you can do within your powers to remove Save it. Please. that if you want to risk another abortion, that is entirely your choice. Go to another hospital. Do it. Alright? But I pity the doctor that will do that. Alright? Okay. Let's do one. Do what? Okay, let's... Before you... Remove Leave me alone! Please, no. Let me you, you've... God, you've lost it. God. Please. See, let me tell you, I don't want to be hung for mother. All right? I don't want to... I don't want to get into trouble. I'm a trained gynecologist. I know what I'm talking about. If you try this, you will die. Oh, 
Oh, Sylvia. Oh my God, you know, I missed you so, so much since my wife came back. Oh. Really? Wait, 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 look at you, just turn around for me, turn around. Oh, Jesus, man, you look, you look fab. You know, we can actually, we can actually just, just do one right now. Yes, I mean, you're not too fast, please. Um, I'm just, I went to what? the hospital uh -huh. earlier on today and um, the doctor gave this to me for you. For me? Me. Yeah. Oh, 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 Christ. Sylvia, you must be joking. Look, I am a married man. Oh, really? Yeah. Good. Fine. You are just realizing that you are a married man. I actually brought this result to you so you can glance at it and digest it. So we can meet at our usual place and talk about it. Hmm? Don't worry about it. I have a photocopy of that. Yeah, um, Sylvia, um, Vivian told me you called in sick, but still I didn't invite you to my office, so what are you doing here? Okay, take a look at this. Take. Pregnancy test? Yes, I am pregnant for you. You must be out of your mind. What's wrong with you? What, what, what was this? Did, didn't you, you know, charge me extra for, 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 what did you call it, touching body? And, and I paid you? I mean, that's the more reason why you should have taken care of yourself. You know I'm married. And that is the more reason why you should pay five million naira to me. So you can keep it away from your wife. Five what? Five million naira. Pay me five million naira, then I get rid of this pregnancy and... Get the hell out of your life. Darling, you need to think about it. Oh, do you want to risk your marriage? God, why should this be happening now? Now that I have almost lost all the money I have to my suppliers in Japan, how in the name of God did I get myself involved in this devil? I beg you God, please don't let her ruin my marriage. Please. Richard, are you serious about what you told me earlier on today? Sylvia, I brought you this engagement ring. And I'm putting it in your hand as a symbol of love. Sylvia, will you marry me? Richard, your uncle is not going to be happy about this, you know. Besides, anyone who loves you as a son will not want you to get married to me. 
It's impossible. We can't get married. Sylvia, anybody who loves me will not deny me my happiness. You're the only woman I have known. You're the only woman I have ever loved. And you're the only woman I can take as a wife. Please, Sylvia. I have wronged you so many ways. I wronged you deeply. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I love you. Rachel. I'm, I'm deeply sorry for everything that has happened. Richard, what are you doing with this lot of a girl? Uncle. She's the only woman I have ever loved. And we just reconciled and she has agreed to be my wife once again. Have you shown her the invitation letter to UK? I brought her here to seek your consent to our marital plans. <laughs> Richard, all my life I've seen so many foolish men but I've never seen such a combination of stupidity and foolishness in one single man. But today, I see it in you. I'm so disappointed. And you, Sylvia, or whatever you call yourself, I once gave you my consent to your so-called marital plans. But unfortunately, you threw it back at my face. I don't give consent twice. I do it only once. So I will never again give it. So, young girl, please, I beg you in the name of whatever you worship, leave my compound now. Uncle, you cannot just tell her to live like that now, eh? Richard, if this Lord don't leave my compound now, you will regret knowing me in the next five minutes. Richard, come back and go to your room. Okay. Richard, I said go back to your room. Why? Why? Richard. Richard. You know what? I'm going to give you 300,000 Naira to get that thing out of your tummy. Go and abort it. Do you understand? How dare you insult me? How dare you? You think I'm that cheap, right? You think so? What, what am I even saying? You know what? I don't even know you. You understand? I don't even know who is responsible for that thing in your tummy. You understand me? I'm not giving you a dime. I'm not giving you a cobble. I'm not giving you a fadden. You can go as far as hell is. Do you understand me? Go. Not so fast, darling. Not so fast. Maybe you should listen to this. Sorry, I have other recordings of that and I also have the photocopies of those check you have been given to me in this house to have sex with me. So you see, I am not only going to blackmail you, you have only one month to pay five million naira into my account. Oh, darling, I will so ruin you. Silver, first of all, I want to apologize for causing such inconvenience for you. The truth of the matter is you are not causing me any inconvenience. I, the first um, motive was for me to be your wife. What? <gasps> Sylvia, are you crazy? Huh? I mean, do you want to ruin my marriage? You, you know what Senator Douglas will do to me? He'll just kill me. What? Are you nuts? I am surprised you're not adding um, Senator Douglas, throwing you back to the street where you belong. Oh, God. Wait, 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 Sylvia. What's this all about? Money, right? 
it's all about marriage. I want to marry you. Get your filthy hands off me. Well, let me advise you. Drop this, all right? Just drop this. Just, just about this, this trash you have in you. Because if you're trying to raise any scandal against me, I will so, so deny you that my wife and the whole world will think you're just a mere gold digger. And oh. you will lose. Bravo. You're not as smart as I was expecting, you know? You have forgotten you have been giving me check to have sex with me. I have the photocopies of everything we had together. I have all the photocopies of the check you have been giving to me and maybe you should listen to this. The conversation, the sweet words you were saying to me when we were making love. I thought you said you loved me, darling. No, 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 wait, wait. Sylvia, wait, 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 don't, don't go, don't go. Why are you doing this to me? Why? You have just one month to pay five million naira into my account or I let the hell loose. <laughs> so when are you going to work today? Baby, I've resigned. I'm no longer working. You've resigned the job you just got some few months ago? Baby, I need energy. I need time to take care of this relationship. You know, I, I don't really want anything to destroy this time out. I understand the moral body you, you're carrying in this relationship in the past few months. <laughs> but babe, if you know how much I love you, you, you will not bother yourself in, with, 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 with all those things. Honey. You just have to walk. Honey, if your uncle finally accepts me, as I wish, we will no longer have time to prepare for our wedding. Okay? Besides, I need all energy to take care of you. Hmm? I mean, I hope would be cooking for you today. You want to cook for me? What is wrong with you? Are you not my husband? Go away. Okay, what if I say I don't want food? So what do you want? This? Is that what you want? Ah uh, well, I think <laughs> if I feed on you, that would be the best thing I can eat. Mm. Because I can get tired of oh, yeah. feeding on all this. Oh, Christ. I'm still begging my father-in-law to help me raise more money to finish executing the contract he gave to me. And, and now this. Oh, I mean, where the hell am I going to raise five million naira to pay Sylvia off and avert this disaster that is staring me in the face right now. Oh, God damn it. I can't return to the misery that was my life before I met Nelly. I can't. Why did you reject the call? Baby, it's Naomi. I don't know why she wouldn't let me be. What does she want? She wants me back. But I've told her time without number to leave me alone. She wants to be controlling my life, which is not possible. And you rejected the call? Yes, in fact, baby, I want to put this phone off. Is that what you want? Yeah, that's what I want. Baby, I want to take care of you. But I want to forget about this phone call and let's go in and do a quickie. No, let's get it. Nerves. This stupid girl switched off the phone on me again. I mean, <laughs> what's up with this girl? Babes, are you sure? I mean, you have no idea why this girl would just stop working without notifying us? What kind of question is that? What are you implying? Sweetheart, I'm not implying anything. I mean, I'm just of the opinion that she, I mean, she has not been at work for the past five days. And she didn't even tell nobody. I'm worried. I'm just curious. That's all. Um, well, I, 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 I don't know too. I, I think it's time you find a replacement for her. And, and this time it should be a man. I don't mean to insult your sensibility, but you see, men are less intuitive and are likely to stay on jobs that, than, than women. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. This is just very annoying. It's just so freaking annoying. Um, um, babe, what are you still doing here dressed like this by this time? Shouldn't you be off to work? Sweetheart, it's Saturday. It's Saturday, baby. 
Oh. Why did you choose this place? Uh, well, choice. Hmm, I see. So, do you have my money? Uh, <sighs> Sylvia, that's exactly why I called you here. Look, I don't have that kind of money. Right, and I, I don't see myself being able to raise that kind of money within the, the short period it gave me. It's, it's not possible. In other words, you are asking me to do my worst. No, 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 no. What I'm Listen, what I'm saying is this. Please take one million naira, okay? Or at least give me, give me some time, like six months. Let me be able to raise the money. Hell no. I am taking nothing less than five million naira. Oh, Christ. For Christ's sake, Sylvia, can't you just be reasonable? I mean, come to think of it, I, I can't remember offending you. Why, why, why are you doing this to me? Ten days is already gone. See, don't even try playing games with me, okay? Because if you do, you will never smile for the rest of your life. What are you guys looking at? Huh? With you? You've been acting moody throughout the day. I mean, for a week now you've been acting very moody. You've been very moody and absent-minded. What is the problem? Um, is it a contract? Contract? Nah, nah, hell no. The contract is moving smoothly. Yeah, the money your father lent me last week is enough to see the contract through. Then what is eating you up? Is it Sylvia? Sylvia? Yes, yeah, Sylvia. Um... I, 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 what? Why, why, why would you say that? Because I started acting very moody shortly after she left this house. I told you that I, that I am pregnant. I mean, you didn't even change your mood. You just, you yeah, still, I'm, 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 I'm like okay, this. What is the problem? Like you've been acting up. Sweetness, I am Pregnancy fine. should be a good news to you, baby. Yeah, What's the case? Yeah, you're still yeah, the same yeah. mood. Oh, oh, okay, come here, come here, come here, baby. Come, come, come. Oh, my creamy, creamy sugar. I am fine. Okay. Uh, all right. I was, um, I was actually meditating, you know, like praying silently before you came in, but I am fine. And I promise you, I will never give you cause to worry about my mood again. Okay. I promise, baby. I am fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. I'm that's fine. it. I want my lovely husband to take moi to a restaurant to have dinner. Uh, 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 <laughs> the baby's hungry. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm hungry too. Yeah, mm. I, love I love you. I love you more. I love you more. No, I love you more. I love you more. I love you more. <laughs> Why are you so cold? What? What is it? How I have good it? news for you. But I want you to guess. I can guess anything. 
I you can't, can't guess. guess. I got my visa. Hmm. Really? <laughs> Babe, look at it. It is stamped. Stamped. I'm mm. traveling, I'm telling you. Mm. How are you not happy now? Huh? How do you expect me to be happy, you know? Are you okay? I wasn't feeling well today and I went to the hospital. The doctor confirmed that I'm pregnant. Your what? Pregnant. God! It's a lie. You're what? Pregnant. Come, come, come. Why are you pregnant? Your boy. My boy is here. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> come on, just see him come out. I'm yeah. telling you. <laughs> I feel like sleeping now. Come on, let's go in and sleep. So Richard, when I plan to leave the country, as soon as I put things in order, put this in order, yes, Uncle. I'm sure you're not planning to marry that beast called Sylvia. Because if you do, I'm not going to be part of your wedding arrangement, neither will John. In fact, I will personally disown you. That's a new development. What new development? You've seen a new girl. Sylvia is pregnant. Jesus Christ. Sylvia is pregnant. Your silence since the last time we met tells me you are calling my bluff. Is that not correct? No, Sylvia. Please. I, I really do love my wife. Then pay me my money. Sylvia, I actually wanted to call you to explain things to you, to tell you I don't have that kind of money now. But if you just give me one month, I will give you this money. Trust me. That means you don't love your wife enough. Look, I've never said that. Please. Look, I, it's just... It's, it's just one week to the expiration deadline. Don't mess with me. Sir, the proposal you gave me to type is ready, sir. And you have a visitor, sir. Shut up. I'm sorry, sir, but... Look, would you just drop the fucking file on the table and get out of my sight? Elvis, I don't see the reason why you are getting upset with your secretary instead of getting upset with me. And what are you doing in my office? I came to remind you that you only have one week to pay up my oh, money. Christ. Sylvia, I am going crazy. I'm going crazy. Just, just look at me. Please, I beg you. Just, I Elvis, swear to you. I... You swore to your wife at the altar, and barely six months, this is already happening. And I hope you're not expecting me to listen to this, your cheap lies. I only came to tell you that you should pay me my money, or do you know what's going to happen? Your father-in-law. You hear it. Listen, listen, listen. Sylvia, look, look, Sylvia, wait. Look, all, all I'm asking for is just more time. It's past midnight and you brooding? Baby, I said there's no problem, okay? <laughs> Sweetheart, I can recognize a problem when I see one. What's up? <sighs> oh my baby, there is a problem. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, alright. Uh, look, I, I need five million naira to get myself hooked on a very lucrative business deal. And I don't have the money now. And, and if I lose out on this deal, I will not be happy at all. Baby, you will be happy, okay? I'll make you happy. Are you saying you're going to help me raise the money? Huh? Baby, the last deal you had, you transacted so much money to Japan. 
you know I gave you like almost everything I had left in my account. <laughs> yes, baby, I know, I know. Okay, but but you see, my love, the goods in question will not be here until two months. That's a long time. I can't wait. I know. All right. Okay, okay. How about you? you know, facilitating a loan for me from your bank. Baby, that's that's way out of it too so because we're already at the end of the bank here. We are and right now our auditors they're already at work and such transaction cannot happen. Okay. Is this happening now, man? Oh. Listen, it's okay, please. Listen. With or without that deal, you're still gonna be what you ought to be, please. Baby, you wouldn't understand. Yes, I do. I understand, darling. Come on, please cheer up. Let's go to sleep, baby. Come on. We need to sleep. Come on, darling. It's okay. Sylvia, I suggest we perform the marital rites with your kinsmen and later proceed to the church for a quiet morning mass. Wedding. God forbid. How can you say a thing like that? Eh? Come. Did you watch the videotape of my stepsister's wedding? It was actually grand. A big one. Don't ever say a thing like that. How can you be expecting me to do a, a small wedding? There is no one that will have the kind of money your stepsister husband has that would not want to do a grand wedding. But in my own case, I don't have such money. So, what do I do? Okay, don't worry. I have money to take care of the kind of wedding I want. I don't know how much you have. But believe me, you're going to need that money after this wedding. I don't know how long it's going to take me for me to break through when I get to London and start sending money back home. So you and my baby need that money. Look, I know all that, okay? I know I am not stupid. See, my dad has accepted to loan you some money and you can actually pay back when you arrive UK. Don't worry about that. I will just take care of it. Your dad has agreed to loan us the money. And how much? Don't worry. I will tell you next week. You will tell me next week? Yeah. So you mean your dad has not given you the money? I mean, you don't even have the money. And you finish spending it. What is your problem? I said you shouldn't worry. Besides, my family is planning a grand wedding for us. Okay? So forget it. You don't have the money. Keep quiet. Just watch. The money will come out. Your family are planning the wedding for us. But it's my wedding. And I'm going to pay back. Money. You're talking too much. What's wrong with you now? You don't have money. Now, people want to sponsor your wedding for you. You're still talking. They are planning my own wedding. And I don't have any say. God. So, she tell you how she's going to raise the money by next week? No, but she's not tell me. So what are you going to do? Well, I, I don't really know, but she's carrying my baby. That is the more reason you have to hold your ground. You have more advantage than her by now. Her parents are preparing for a grand traditional and church wedding. <sighs> And when we discussed, she's not ready to compromise, Uncle. <laughs> Are you going to play that along with her? With just 80,000 Naira in your account? <laughs> it's laughable. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. You don't know? Uh, that is the old song, Uncle. I don't know. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> you don't know. Play along with her. Oh, you find another one. I'm going to resign from the restaurant job once I get my pay for the month. Of course you have to. We don't have time for wedding planning. Of course, and all hands have to be on there. I'm going to raise the money. I don't know how, but I just wanted to keep it. Okay? I trust you. I'll make it. Hello? 
Hello, Elvis. Yes, I am calling you to remind you that the deadline is tomorrow. And I am damn serious about carrying out my threats. Oh, oh, oh. look, I, I told you. Listen, I. I... All right, wait, 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 wait. Hello, Steve? Yeah. Meet me at Sensational Hotel by 12 noon tomorrow. Room 402. Yes. Come with the home money or I start the evil reign. Honey? Uh, uh, some, some crazy friend of mine. You know, the, the, the guy, some guy that just did. That, that what? I mean, what sort of friend is making you so nervous on the phone like this? Look at you. You're sweating. Why? Look, the guy is some crazy ass dude, believe me. Look, I, I've told him to stop pestering me. He wants to see me, he wants to see me. I've told him. I believe that you're alone. Are you owing him? Owing him? Are you? Hell no. Oh, God. Oh. Sweetie. Sweetie. Yeah. Me. Oh, 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 creamy sugar, you, you know I can lie to you, baby. If I find out that you lied to me, I will not forgive you. And I will make you hate me. I don't like the idea that my friends are going to sponsor this wedding for us. No, it's not what you think, okay? Okay. So what is it? Okay. Are you going to hang out with me, my friends and their wives? At least it's, it's been long we, we went out together. This would be an opportunity for us to go out together. Really? Okay. No problem. You just get a place where you and your friends can wait for me. Then I will come and meet you guys on my way back from my internet appointment. 